Hi, I'm Sally from the PMO. One afternoon in February 2016, we went out and spoke to people about quality improvement. We wanted to ask two specific questions, and here's what they said. Hello, for those who don't know me, I'm Humphrey Scott. I'm one of the colorectal surgeons at Ashford and St Peter's. And my experience with quality improvement has been with the endoscopy services. And we had a really great quality improvement uh, mechanism where everybody who uses endoscopy came along. And from that we had about five or six work streams and a number of projects. And over the following months, individual clinicians were given responsibilities and the project has definitely improved the patient pathway within endoscopy. My name is Asim Naim. I'm one of the emergency physicians over here in St. Peter's Hospital. So, Last year, um, uh, one of the projects which I lead is the care of septic patients who come through the doors of emergency department. And uh, we noted that we weren't performing when it comes to the care provided to them, and only 35% of them were receiving the appropriate care within the first hour of their arrival in the department. Over a span of one year of time, with our, our efforts, we managed to improve the care from 35% to over 90% of the, of the patient receiving um, appropriate treatment within the first hour. And this was only possible because of the, of the, of the support and the guidance from the um, quality improvement team within this trust. also run an ED assembly, um, which is a communication exercise, an effective communication exercise, as I want to call it, within my department in which we propagate the idea of, of quality improvement within the staff. So I'm not talking about health professionals alone, so I'm talking about doctors, nurses, um, reception staff, porters, they all join in and, and come up with ideas of how to improve the um, care we provide to our patients. My name is Antonia, I'm a foundation pharmacist based in Pharmacy at St Peter's Hospital. Um, I felt like I got more involved in the team, uh, which was really, really good because then I felt like as part of a team, as opposed to just a section in a patient's discharge or when it comes to just medication, so I felt more involved in like the patient's care. It was very beneficial for me um, working closely with the consultants and the doctors, with the ward sisters and everybody just as a team. I think that's that was the most amazing part of being part of that project. I'm uh, Dr. Clarence Chikusu. I'm a clinical fellow in acute and elderly care medicine and working as a registrar within the hospital. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to have been able to pick up on some of the good work that's going out uh, around the trust, uh, specifically around falls, for instance, and the acute kidney injury uh, uh, projects that have been going on. This has also uh, been a good opportunity for me to see people's ideas and to work as part of a team who are genuinely looking forward to improving the quality of the care that we give uh, overall in the trust. Hi, I'm Lynn 
um, I'm a practice educator, stroke ward manager for Aspen Ward, which is a respiratory hematology ward. Um, I've been involved with um, improvements, quality improvements on the ward since I came here just over a year ago. We've focused on several projects which have made a difference. Um, we did, uh, following the audit of the resource trolleys, we did work to improve the um, stock on the resource trolleys and minimalise that down to what should be in it rather than the 122 extra items that were on the trolley. currently working on um, orange armbands, uh, wristbands that patients have, um, which signifies that they have target saturations of 88 to 92. This is for all our patients who are at risk of developing type 2 respiratory failure and they're taking these armbands home with them in the hope that they wear them at home, that if they ever are brought back into hospital again, then the ambulance crews will also see that they should not be given excess amounts of oxygen, which can endanger their lives. I'm Sarah Burton, I'm the lead cancer clinician at Ashford and St Peter's. We've been lucky enough to have uh, three successful cancer pathway um, service improvement events. They kind of gave a, a kind of neutral ground for often quite a diverse group of people within the team to get together. I think it's really important that the Trust has its own quality improvement group because other Trusts and ourselves in the past have used outside bodies to help us with these pathways and really what we need to do is have our own in-house group. This would definitely be a, a leaner and more efficient way of working and we always need to improve the quality which we're offering our patients. Uh, quality improvement uh, is something that I'm quite passionate about and is something that a lot of people in this hospital are quite keen on doing and many people do have a lot of good ideas about how things can be improved. The most important part of quality improvement I think is in that uh, feeling and uh, idea that quality and excellence comes from improving oneself all the time. If we do that as a trust, then I think that excellence can be achieved and this is why I think quality improvement uh, is a good thing. Um, I think it just highlights um, that there is a need for change um, and doing these projects they kind of get an idea of different people's um, perspective on a certain working way. We're always seeking new ways of delivering a higher quality of care which is more efficient and has uh, the best patient experience possible. And I think a lot of this can be achieved and realised to really focus on these uh, important quality initiatives that um, are the things that make the real difference. can think of numerous healthcare organizations who have invested in, in, in this field and have resulted in, in, in immensely improving the care they provide to their patients. Uh, 
Uh, so for example, Sheffield, East London hospitals, they have all invested in this field and have resulted in, 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 in improving the, uh, uh, the care they provide to the patients. We, we intend to continue with quality improvement on Aspen Ward. We know things are a lot better on the ward, but we still know we've got a lot of room for improvement. And as educators of the ward, I want to continue to take this forward um, and continue to improve quality within our area. So what do you think? Get in touch by email or on Twitter and join in the conversation.